Hey everyone, welcome to Athletes Unplugged. This week we have a couple of gophers on the show and BFFs, Molly Lohman and Samantha Seliger Swinton. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm glad that you guys get to be together on this call. Yes. Yeah, thank you for having us. We're super excited. So So both being from Minnesota, played at Minnesota, and now you're just a few minutes from each other now in in post-college pro life. How is it having, you know, someone right down the road that you have all these experiences with and to train for the upcoming AU season? Having like a workout partner, having a lifting partner changes everything. Like so, so much better when you have someone pushing you right there by your side. And yeah, um, some days if I don't feel like going to work out, it's like Sam's here to push me to do it. So yeah, it's yeah. been awesome. And just like getting to hang out a little bit and like knowing that we're going to be going down to Dallas and get to just be together even more like it's just so exciting with some other gophers that are going to be there but yeah it's been nice to be able to train and just hang out and like be super close so so thinking about this season are there any goals or things you want to achieve or that you want to learn that you've been maybe thinking about as you prep physically but also mentally and then also just being on a grind playing a lot of games in a very short time period just over six weeks of competition I think something that comes to mind is just pushing ourselves and like, you know, it's a team competition, but it's also somewhat individual competition with the stats and the point system, um, which is something that none of us have ever experienced with volleyball. Um, So I think just being willing to adapt and like switch that around and grow in that new um, kind of format is something that I think will be really cool for everyone in the shield it's going to be like just as much as a mental game as a physical game. So I think like, I'm looking forward to being able to push myself in that aspect and also like learning and growing as I go. And especially like with all the really like amazing athletes that have signed, I'm so looking forward to like having those girls by my side and learning from them. And I mean, these are girls that I've looked up to like my whole college career. And now like I get to play either with them or across the court from them. So I think it's going to be a really exciting experience. Definitely. And like you said, you're both going to be together. I know you have both been together for for years, whether that's on the same team and just being friends and now in Minnesota post-college. So I'm going to put that friendship to the test. (laughs) I've got a little bit of a challenge. (laughs) All right. So you're going to need those sheets of paper and I'm going to trust you both to put the answers down and not peek. So I've got some questions. <laughs> our backs yeah. to each other. Molly, for you to answer about Samantha and Samantha for you to answer about Molly. So we're going to get going. So this first one is for you, Molly. And Samantha, you'll write down your answer. Is What is Samantha's favorite food on game days? Oh, my gosh. Oh, you okay. got this, Mom. You got this. <laughs> okay, I wrote down my answer. All right, ready? Let's see it. Hold them up. How big it is. Woo! Yay, All right, yeah. we've got <laughs> okay. smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, point for you both. This next one is Samantha. What is the first professional league that Molly played in? Okay. Like the league name or the country name? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling doesn't count, right? <laughs> no spell check. Okay. <laughs> I wrote big this time, so we can All right, let me see. I have the Philippines. Yeah, so the PSL. Gosh, I need to give you guys some tougher ones. <laughs> this next one is going to be too easy. I was going to say what club team did Samantha play for. <laughs> oh, yeah. But because you played together, it's like too easy. Too easy. Yeah. You were there. All right. So, Samantha, what is Molly's favorite set to hit? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. You have your answer? Uh, All right. Let's see. The gap. Oh, no. Did I you say that quick? Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> so you guessed the gap. What was it? Uh, a quick, like, one in front. Quick one in Shoot. front. All right. So reversely, Molly, what is Samantha's least favorite hit to set? I don't even know this. <laughs> I, have one, I don't know if you're going to pick it. I don't know. Do you even have a least favorite set? I don't think so. I'm trying to think of, I don't know. Let's see. I said the D-ball. 
No way! I really? see you too. Is that like the back row? The back row, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, we had two Molly questions back to back, so we're gonna come back with another Samantha question. So, Molly, what award slash achievement is Samantha most proud of? Oh my goodness. Okay. That was quick. You feel like you knew right away. <laughs> Smith, I feel like you have a harder time time answering the questions about yourself. <laughs> I know, right? Well, I just I need to do some introduction. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wrote this one down because like this is what like I think is like one of her like biggest achievements ever. So like I think in my perspective, kind of, and I hope that it's like what you think. Oh too. gosh. <laughs> okay, wait. I was like guessing my answer now, but I think it's what I am most proud of. Let's see. Okay, I said that she's a four-time All American. Oh, I said back-to-back -back Final Fours. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, <laughs> I have to give you some challenging ones. So my last question for you guys, as we're heading into this AU season and we're thinking about volleyball being back home in the United States and, you know, both playing at Minnesota, you know, that fan base and the craze that is around NCAA volleyball and especially in the Big Ten. For our AU fans that maybe watch softball and haven't watched a ton of volleyball or for a volleyball fan that maybe hasn't connected with maybe their favorite in college since they graduated. What message do you have to those people to tune in and support as we head into our inaugural season of AU Volleyball? Some of these girls that are in the league, like this is going to be a great level of volleyball mm -hmm. and it's going to be so fun to watch, let alone compete in. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just think that like, if you like the college game or you like watching softball, like it's going to be so competitive and so fun. Mm -hmm. And it's just so cool. Like this is the first women's pro league in the States. Like how cool is that? Like we get to be a part of that. So just everyone's support means the world and yeah, super excited for it. Yes. You guys are a part of history. The first group of 40. Right. <laughs> and I'm so glad that just in a couple of days, no more zoom. We're finally going to get to meet in person. <laughs> yeah, I know. So excited. Thank you. Thank you both so much for joining me on Athletes Unplugged, and I will see you soon when we enter the Shield. Ooh, thank you. Thank you.